I really want it to be conversation style, so I don't care. I don't want to be like, hey everyone, okay. just like we're starting a conversation. Do I need to look in the lens? No, okay, not at cool, all. You it's... don't, you really don't have to. Okay. It's more like people are peering into our conversation. Like if we were just hanging out, well, except I wouldn't ask you these questions. <laughs> but no. Well, why not? We would have these conversations, I feel. Yeah, I guess not in this format. You know? Right. It like... would just be like driving the car and then I'd be like, so did you ever think about what it feels like to be mixed? And then you'd be like, um, get out the way! Wait, are we gonna do like an intro? Like, hey, this is... Or you don't want to at all? Mm. You're just gonna jump into the video yeah. we're having a conversation? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's more natural, you know? How would you introduce yourself? First of all, what, what name do you want to go by publicly? Um, well, my name is Mary Ann, and I have my own YouTube channel, Cacao Culture. Yes. And I'm also your, her sister. <laughs> An angel sister, yes. 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 So, you want really to promote your YouTube channel. What is it about exactly, maybe? Give people an idea. Are we talking reaction videos? Are we talking makeup tutorials? No, my, my YouTube channel is a health and wellness channel. So, yes. it's about promoting... Um, a natural lifestyle, health yeah. and wealth. How's that going, actually? It's going good. Right now, it's a bit on pause because, you know, a lot of things have been going on life. in my personal life. Mm -hmm. But I intend on picking back up over the summer. Yes, people should know. This one just graduated Yay. with an MBA, a master's. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Business Thank administration. You. Yes. It was tough. My gosh, I saw you struggle. I heard, well, heard you struggle from afar. Yes, exactly. Um... Parents are proud. Yes, <laughs> very counts. proud. Now you're the one with the masters tears among us. Tears of joy, mm. literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. true. Mom's tears of joy. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Good times. You're the achieved one in the family. Oh, my God, you too. What are you talking about? No, because now mom is all weird, worried about me, and she's like, oh, you mom, never, that's mom's You should job. go back to school. You're never, you're going to amount to nothing if you don't. Oh, my God. In a nutshell, that's how I take it. Like, I'm, like, I'm trying to start my own business. And I haven't even launched yet. And then she comes to me with all of this like half an hour long spiel about you should consider doing a master's while the time is right. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can do it on the side. Maybe you can look into this. We can look into that. What do you want to do? And I was like, I never signed up for this, first of all. So why are you asking me all these questions? Well, but, just do um, you, you know. I mean, yeah, you've exactly. always done you. So if there's one person who's always done what they want, it was you. So. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I mean. Uh, well, you don't feel I, that way? You don't feel like you do you? No, I do, but I mean, I took, like, the MBA thing. It was never in my plan. It was the parents who, who suggested. suggested it. And, yeah. you yeah. know, I weighed my options. I was like, sure, why not, you know? Because, like, if, yeah, I had, if the opportunity presented itself, why not take it? Yeah, so yeah, I didn't yeah. mind doing it. Yeah, I get that. But, um... But yeah, no, but obviously, yeah. I'm doing my own thing, you know? I'm going to design school. That's my, that's my thing. That's not them. Yeah, that's yes. true. Design school where? <laughs> oh my Hello, god. Explain. I don't understand my whole life story here. Yes, I'm going to design school in Paris. In Paris. So I'm really okay. excited about in that. France. Which takes us, I guess, segue to the next topic. Yes. Which is, you are mixed like me. Yes. Half French, half, half Cameroonian. Cameroonian. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, we never talked about this, but how do you feel about being mixed? <sighs> you know... Hmm complex topic yeah i know um it's there's i would say there's pros and cons to it so yeah. the pro is that i feel like as being a mixed race person it's like you have a, a, a passport to everywhere yeah you're not too much of one or too much of the other mm -hmm. so people feel comfortable around you and i feel like that's good because i've never um had negative experiences to mm. per se in terms of at least with racism and all that stuff yeah yeah, yeah. i don't feel like <clears throat> i've suffered from racism or if i did i didn't even notice yeah um yeah because we don't really have that stigma uh, yeah attached to being mixed it's not really you go around think looking for people how they treat you and being aware of oh i'm being treated differently because i'm mixed 
It's not really a, a thing. Yeah, it's not a thing. It's just like yeah, we're yeah. caught in between. It's like we're lost in the mix. Yeah, exactly. We have <laughs> our own problems, but it's not really that kind of racial right, baggage. Which I it's think... more of an identity baggage. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I feel like is a big thing, especially in today's day in America yes. and all this stuff with the race. I feel like that's helpful to be in the between the con i guess i think the best way to characterize big mixed race is that you fit in everywhere and nowhere at the mm -hmm. same time yeah yeah so the whole everywhere like i mentioned you're a citizen of the world citizen of the world exactly yeah yeah and then the nowhere is that you don't really fit in with any a, specific you don't have a pack yeah, exactly. Unless you do a mixed race pack, which that never happens. <laughs> um, I know. And that's yeah. actually what's something I'm trying to do with uh, the M Angel brand, which is like one of the dreams I have is to gather all of us mixed, uh, mixed people, you know, multi ethnic, multicultural people and become our own group. Even though it's all inclusive, obviously, if you're pure anything, you can be part of it. But uh, it, I feel like we as a as a species <laughs> as a subset as a, race, yeah, as a subset we don't we usually always try to fit into one or the other, or the other one part of our our ethnic baggage one part of our nationalities or cultures and uh we never really fully fit into it. and we, instead of just you know grouping together with other people who come from other backgrounds because it's usually the people we we relate to the most are people who have also either traveled a lot or mm -hmm. who have grown up in multi many cultures mm -hmm. or whose parents come from one place but they were raised in another place so they are multi-ethnic yeah. that's usually the people Culturally that we are versed yeah that's usually the people we can really really get along with and who understand us and, right mm -hmm. so i agree do you feel like you had to choose at any point being french over being cameroonian or over being american because we did grow yes. up in the U.S., you spent like what? You born in Cameroon ten days later, moved 17, to the seventeen angel. days later. <laughs> you moved to we moved to the U.S. Yeah. So I was three, so we were were pretty much American. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you had to? Do you, can you think of any instances where you've, or growing up, did you try to become one more than the other? In the right. One? Um, I would say growing up, I definitely did all three. Yeah, I went through phases, all types of phases with each one. So I went through like a whole French, very well, we went through that together. Yes. Yes. Very French phase. Um, and then I went through my African phase and I also went through American phase, like trying to, um, how to say, merge within that culture, understand it, get to know people who are American and all that stuff. Out of the three, I would say the one that is closest to my personality, mm -hmm. um, whom I, the values and the sense of humor and the lifestyle is closest to my own mm -hmm. choices or preferences, I would say is the African culture. Maybe being close to, very close to mom mm -hmm. uh, could have influenced that as well. Yeah, I think that, that has been the nationality or the culture that I feel most comfortable with mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that there haven't been issues with that you know uh being mixed race and african uh how to say milieu yes <laughs> the environments or diaspora or yeah, whatever yeah. has definitely its quirks explain so, what what have you experienced because i'm sure a lot of people don't really know what it's like to be the mixed kid among people who are just Whatever, Cameroonian, for example. Right. Well, so I think this goes back to colonialism and uh, how fair skin, lighter skins were privileged uh, versus that of black skins. And mm -hmm, which is something that still exists in, a, in many African countries or just the world in yes, general. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I think those remnants remnances have shown itself through... Um, the dynamic even between uh, mixed race and black uh, black people in the community. Mm. So, for example, I've like my experience with with black African men is that um, you know they a lot of them have mentioned to me how their preference is lighter skin, like mixed race is their ideal mm. skin color and everything. Mm. And I've gotten a lot of had a lot of issues with girls because. 
they called me man stealer and mm-hmm. all this stuff when it wasn't the case is that you know if they have their own um preferences whether it be from them or from a heritage whatever that's not my fault yeah you know i'm it's like it's it's not even about me it's about what i represent so it's like yeah. why why are you getting upset with me about his else. choice yeah, right, right when it has nothing to do with me i'm objectified as a mixed race person exactly it's they're not, not about choosing you I because am. of you they're, they're choosing, choosing because you of yeah I'm because live, of the image and the the whatever the idea of what it is for them to be with a mixed person right means, exactly because every, status etc what i when i've asked them like why do you prefer most of them can't explain why i mean to a certain extent it's hard yeah. to explain taste that's also a thing right but yeah. um i don't know when you see the whole history behind it and stuff it's kind of like how can that not be the cause for that preference mm. because all the subliminal messages they they affect us on levels yeah. that we're not even maybe conscious of and if you don't ask yourself those questions how you you know yeah how yeah. would you know